Hello everyone. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. It's uh, middle of the week and uh, still a little warm, but it's better than it was yesterday. So that's a good thing, especially up here at the campground where even a few degrees less of the the heat factor makes it a little easier to, to breathe when you're outside and when you're uh, taking kids on walks through <laughs> looking for birds. But uh, we're having a good week, good time up here with these kids and uh, having a good time with my daughter, trying to you know, just do some different things. But, uh, but anyway, I wanted to, to share with you our devotional for today, The Promises of God from the YouVersion Bible app, Bible.com. Uh, some good stuff in this, this uh, kind of abbreviated, a little bit shorter than some that we've been doing, but uh, it's still a good, good study because it's always good to be reminded of the promises of God because it... Uh, Oh, I don't know. It keeps us going on hard days. I think that's that's one of the things about it. I mean, when we, uh, you know, when we're struggling with whatever, and you know, there's often something that we're dealing with in our life. It's, just, it's good to know that God will be there for us. That He'll He'll help us. And that's the kind of the reminder we're going to get today. And and the idea is, you know, draw near to God, and He will come. He will draw near to you. And that, that's a wonderful promise. It's really a beautiful promise. That we can hold on to and and it's from James 4 8 and the verse says come near to God and he will come near to you wash your hands you sinners and purify your hearts you double-minded uh, there's there's you know a, a bit of a tag with this you know we we need to come we we come near to him we walk with him uh, again I'm working on my sermon for for camp Monday night and and that's one of the things I'm going to emphasize is that we walk with God, and we need to do it all the time. Uh, we 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 come near to Him, and we stay near to Him, and because then He'll come near to us, and we, you know, He doesn't force Himself on us. He allows us to to choose what path we want to lead. We talked a little bit about that yesterday, you know. But if we draw near to Him, He will come near to us, and and then sort of this transformation happens. I think where, you know, this verse is, "Wash your hands, you sinners; purify your hearts, you double-minded." That's that's sort of the transformation process that happens as we walk, walk with the Lord, as we spend time uh, in His presence. He will, he will do this work in us, uh, washing our hands, not just our hands, but our hearts. Uh, I, I think there's a, a little sense, and then He says, you double-minded. In, in a sense there, uh, one of the things I remember a few years ago at kids' camp, our, our theme was, was head, heart, hands. And the idea being there's certain things we, we learn and get in our minds and then we got to move it south a little bit to our hearts and, and let it change our hearts and then it makes its way out into our hands. And it's interesting because in this verse he mentions all three. Wash your hands, the things you do. Change the things you do. Uh, you sinners, purify your hearts, you know, inside, your soul, your, uh, uh, you know, sort of the, the, that part of you, the, the feeling part of you, whatever. And then he mentions you double-minded. Uh, so, so head, heart, hands. And, and so we need to turn those over to the Lord and let him, him use them. Well, let me read for you the, the devotional that they have with this. Uh, this is draw near to, God, near to God. If we step in God's direction, he never rejects us. He always embraces the truly repentant who cry out to him for cleansing. Here God is inviting us to choose him and purify our lives, to devote all our hearts and find greater intimacy with him what we should want that's what we should desire uh, more intimacy with him one of the things i'm going to talk about at camp is the fact that this process of drawing near to god is is something that uh it's what transforms us it's what changes us from who we used to be into who god wants us to be as we walk with him this transformation happens uh, this is how will you choose to draw near to god this week what are some ways right now you can uh, choose to follow God, to draw near to Him. So set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly in His presence and pray for a single-minded focus and a pure heart. We all need that. Is there anything you're grappling with that is keeping you from getting closer to God? You say, are you flirting with a sin you need to shut down? You know, sometimes we do that. We flirt with, with sin. Uh, it reminds me of the, the illustration I've used before of... of you know, the guy driving going to drive by the bakery and said if there's an open spot in front, he'll, uh, uh, you know, stop in and get some donuts or something. And, and uh, you know, the fourth time around the block, he found, found that spot in front of the bakery. 
And so, you know, sometimes we flirt with sin like that. You know, we, we, you know, maybe the first time we drive by, oh, there's no spots there, but well, maybe we better check again. And we look for opportunities to, to uh, you know, we flirt with sin, just like that said. Uh, we need to shut that down, uh, every opportunity we have. It's the purpose to come clean before your God and hold nothing back. That's the key, uh, offering everything to the Lord. And there's the prayer here at the end, Lord, I want to draw near to you. Help me not to waver in my devotion, but to worship you above all. Amen. Uh, let's continue in prayer. Lord, help us to do that. Help us to draw near to you. Help us to give our all to you, to our whole lives, every area, and hold nothing back to just give them all to you. Lord, just be with us uh, today and this week. Lord, we, we want to draw near to you. Help us to do that, and, and thank you for this wonderful promise that if we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. Uh, thank you, Lord. Be, continue to be with those that need a touch from you, those who are dealing with physical issues, uh, emotional issues, even spiritual issues. Lord, just continue to surround us all with your presence. Encourage those who need encouraging. Heal those that need healing. Lord, just be very near. Thank you, Lord, because we know you will be. You are faithful. You are good. We give you praise today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thanks for watching again today, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, uh, another, another uh, devotional. But uh, you have a great day, and we'll uh, see you later. Bye-bye.